Hi everyone, I'm going to take you through Datigo Ballistic. Datigo Ballistic is a super fast rapid imager for taking a full clone or forensic copy of a suspect machine. In this case, I'm going to treat the machine that you're looking at now as the suspect machine. I'm going to navigate to this PC and you're going to see that I have inserted some drives. So let me just take you through this. The Blade Stealth is the machine that is the suspect. It's a half terabyte machine pretty much and it's pretty full as you can see of data here. Attached to it I have my Datigo master stick. So this is the stick that houses all of my Datigo software. That's my triage software, my imaging software and my covert software and my stealth software. But I also have attached a Ballistic 1, Ballistic 2 and Ballistic 4. So these are essentially slaves. They're just USBs, high capacity, ideally high speed or SSD drives that I've attached to the suspect machine. All I need to do is make sure that they have this um, small index file on them and that enables them to correspond to my master. So essentially my master will look at the drives on this machine, be that in the forensic boot environment or in a live environment, and it'll identify those index files and it'll say, oh great, you're a slave, I can work with you. And we have patented technology that enables us to split the image across all these different collectors. And that enables a super rapid acquisition of this laptop. You can see here also my home videos. The suspect in this case has already had a USB stick um, drive attached to the suspect machine when we've come to it. Clearly in this case, we're not going to remove that to extract the data from that stick, which we could do with our Datigo media acquisition. However, that would potentially be forensically unsound. It could potentially close uh, any encrypted containers um, when I pull that stick out. So we're going to leave it in and show you how Datigo handles this. So I'm going to navigate to my master stick. Like I said, it's got all of our different options in here. I'm going to go into configuration. And this is just where I'm in a live environment for demo purposes, obviously. So it's asking me, do I want to run Datigo? Yes, of course I do. And it's dropped me into this splash screen. Now, if I was in the forensic boot environment and our Datigo boot um, bypasses UEFI and secure boot, obviously, clearly it works on legacy. It also forensically um, write protects all the correct drives on this machine. It's also smart enough to identify any Datigo software or any Datigo slaves with that index file and let them through the um, write block so that they can extract data in a forensically sound manner from this suspect machine. You can see here I've got five little tabs that are related mainly to my triage. We have an advanced tab here as well that can be used for our imaging if we want to get specific and we'll cover that in a later lesson. But for now we're going to look at ballistic image so the super rapid forensic imager. I've gone inside it now what you can see which is really handy already is it's actually telling me look this is the suspect's machine do you want to take that yes I do but actually it's identified that the suspect had a thumbstick in great thing about ballistic is if I wanted, I could also acquire any connected drives to this machine that are clearly not our own, you know, our Datigo software. So in this case, it might be that I say, yes, once you have finished the full physical image of the um, suspect laptop, then I'd like you to acquire the physical image of the any drives that are attached to that for uh, later examination, for example. In this case, I'm not going to ask it to do that. You are so you can be as selective as you want. I also have compression if that is a concern for me. And I also have um, the main forensic checksums that I may need to use if I'm running this um, for a forensic uh, hash match. Down the bottom here, I have run overt and run covert. Run overt means you're going to see everything that happens on the screen. Run covert in this sense simply means that it is going to remove all screen presence that you're running a forensic process. So again, if you're in an environment where third parties may be looking at what you're doing, you can run this technology without them knowing um, what you're up to. We do have other discrete and stealth technology in the sense of um, for leaving no trace on a machine. But of course, um, for the vast majority of our um, clients, 
based law enforcement, etc. Then we have a full forensic management program and audit trail that collects all the information that you need and does everything in a completely forensically sound manner. So I'm going to run this overt so that we can clearly see what's happening. So this is starting up our Detigo ballistic software, ballistic again, the rapid imager. And I'm just going to expand out my screen. So you can see the software is get, just getting up running. If you saw a little red flash come up at the bottom, it's actually quite handy. What Detigo does is, again, it's smart enough to look at the system that we're extracting and to go, um, how, much, how, how big is it? And how big are the combined um, collection devices that I have attached? And is that enough to get the full forensic image? If it isn't, it gives you a warning, which is great. Because the other good thing about ballistic, as you're going to see now, is at any point I can just insert an extra collector and it will not for, um, affect the forensic integrity. The forensic integrity will remain um, completely sound. And all that will do is start to increase the speeds or the capacity for me to extract. So you can see here we've now added another drive in. And we're at 1.5 gigs a second. That's awesome. So for those of you that have done traditional forensic imaging and sat there for hours doing machines, Ballistic really is the go-to tool for anybody that needs rapid, easy imaging. Plug devices in, click play, rapid image, go home. At this point, it's taking a DD full forensic image, which is um, acceptable to all forensic tools um, on the market pretty much, I think. Um, we can rebuild the image to EO1 or DD, that is user choice. The reason it runs at DD is obviously some intelligence agencies and other groups utilize this technology. And what that means is if I suddenly need to abort now, so I'm in a hotel room, I'm extracting this suspect's machine, the surveillance team come over my earpiece and say, the suspect um, Bravo One has um, left the restaurant and is not heading towards the cinema, um, is heading basically back to home location. At that point, traditionally, I would have started to panic and gone, oh no, <laughs> I've taken the drive out of the machine, I've put it in my cloner, I now need to, under time pressure, take that drive back out, put it back into the suspect machine, make sure I seal all the suspect machine up properly, leave it in situ and so on. A lot of pressure. With ballistic, no. I just click abort and I have all of the data, the 170 odd gigs that we've got now, I still have, I'm able to rebuild that and I'm able to um, exploit that data. For those of us that don't work in a discrete environment, um, on those means, then it is just a super rapid imager for you. Time is precious, right? Data is only getting bigger. Um, so we're looking at um, more impressive ways of uh, extracting that data at high speed. It might be commercially for, um, as an investigator, I need to go to a, um, a commercial organization and I need to take 20 of the staff laptops away the cost associated to that, to bring them back to my lab, to image them, to then run um, my forensic analysis, etc. In this case, as the senior investigator, I may not even want to go there. So I could send one of my low-level investigators and say, right, plug in ballistic, click go, and do that on all 10 of these laptops, and then bring it back to me. I can rebuild the image in my Detigo Analyze, which is our main analytical center, and we can extract and pass all the data and run all of our powerful analytics. In fact, there's a fully automated um, lab workflow in there that is customizable to yourself. But in this case, we're talking about ballistic. So I'm gonna come back in and just explain some of the screen. Here, I have my master stick. I can tell it's my master stick because it has a little crown attached to it, um, which means it's the one that's got my software on. All the others are my um, various attached uh, slave drives, if you like. Again, as I said, ballistic is super easy to use, but it also means that I can stop any one of these drives except my master. My master must stay in because it's the brain. And then if I needed to, I could take, say, number five out, get a brand new drive and put that in if I needed the extra space, for example. So that's ballistic up and running. Um, it literally does what it says on the tin, a super rapid imager. It is not missing out any zeros. It is not 
some strange proprietary format. We are taking a DD image at this point, and then we reconstitute that into a single image in our main analytical program, be that in EO1 or DD. You can export that out into other forensic tools if you wish, um, but clearly we have our own powerful parsing and analytics in Datigo, um, which the vast majority of our, our customers um, would utilize. In fact, actually, it pull in other images into that to utilize um, some of that analytical capability. We also have a log that's running, but I'll show you this as it starts to complete towards the end. Um, and it should also be taking small screenshots as it moves through to help with my forensic management, which all goes into a report at the end. So I'm just gonna go back over to the overview function as I said, remember, I'm currently using five sticks. Three is a good number. Three would bring this up to probably just under a gig a second, and it's easy to manage three devices, right? I mean, hard drives, portable SSD hard drives now are super fast and go up to easily easily one to two terabyte. You, you may even find some that are three or four terabyte. So again, you're gonna be, uh, you're, you're pretty good there. The other thing that we do is our forensic boot environment can be built onto the same stick. So my master stick can actually house the technology in a partition that enables me to boot into this machine, meaning I do not have to use a port for my boot USB stick. We can also load that boot information into the RAM that we create, freeing up a port as well. Where can this be handy? Likes of maybe airports, baggage searches, other areas. If you're coming across um, things like the, the the little chromey type books that have um, only a single port, you may still want to image that. You're not going to get this significantly increase in multiple port speeds, but you're not going to have that one port blocked up by our boot stick. So there you go. That's us completed my half terabyte. This is my actual works machine. And uh, it has completed that in six minutes, 28 seconds. That is a full forensic a copy, a full forensic clone extraction of this device. That's all the live and all the unallocated space that we can um, pull all the carved information from. Obviously here we've got a log, which just takes us through all the forensic data that we may need. If I jump back out of this now, so I'm gonna close that off and I'm gonna jump into this computer just to explain a couple of other pieces. So obviously my master was the brain that did all the work and it fired the image out to these ballistic collectors, these slaves, and they can be, like I say, any sticks. If I go into one of them, you can now see it's got an extra folder called field extractions. If I'd done three or four computers back to back, four separate computers, then I would have four of these um, partitions, if you like, in here. So you are not limited with each ballistic to just do one machine. It's as much uh, data as the, the devices the collectors can hold. Again, if I go into this, it's date time stamped, and I can actually get into where the bin file is, the physical image here. And again, we also keep logs for you as well. So we've covered it off from all angles, from your military type, maybe working for intelligence reasons or intelligence agencies, through to your law enforcement who need that um, full forensic extraction. So that's it for the first class on ballistic or the first overview of ballistic and um, we will see you in the next ballistic class.